Our planet has a plastic problem. Of the billions of tons produced, only a small part, less than 10%, has been recycled. The rest is thrown into dumps. It is burnt or ends up in the ocean. Every year, tons of bottles like this one are burned in Europe. Here in Piacenza, in Italy, researchers are building a reactor capable of recycling waste that was previously impossible to treat. We are now heading to the laboratory of Green, a startup founded by Maurizio Crippa, an Italian inventor convinced that he can close the recycling loop. The challenge for his team is to revive everyday objects that were until now deemed useless because they could not be processed by mechanical recycling plants. Mechanical recycling, they can work just on very good material. It means food container, typically not colorless bottles like this one. They can work also on colored bottles, but for example, this is too colored. They can't process textile because from bottle, you produce clothes, but from clothes, you can't produce bottle. The point is, mechanical recycling is a down cycling. But through our technology, we can do up cycling. Green has developed a machine capable of isolating polyethylene terephthalate, known as PET, the most widely used material in the clothing and packaging industry. This process, called depolymerization, is sped up by the microwave reactor of this prototype. It is capable of merging the characteristics of a mechanical system with the strengths of a chemical process accelerated by microwave into a single machine. This is the precious oil. Once purified, it will be possible to extract virgin PET, which will be used to produce plastic or clothes. The loop is complete. The project won the 2018 Innovation Radar Prize in Vienna at the beginning of December. The best inventors and entrepreneurs from across the continent came to Austria to present their vision for tomorrow. The ICT is an event organized by the European Commission to identify innovations with high commercial potential. Maurizio's research appealed to the jury, which awarded Green the overall prize. The challenge in Europe, actually, uh, to me at least, is that the path from basic research to applied research, from applied research to business, uh, to uh, research centers of uh, well, larger corporations, from the larger corporations to business development of certain company or companies, and then the sales. This takes far too long. We need to do something in Europe. We need to make the shortcuts in, in order to uh, be in the beat of the competition and, and to excel. The production of plastic is exploding. Increasing its recycling rate means reducing our dependence on oil used in its creation. It is also a great financial opportunity for the plastic and clothing industries and the recycling companies. Green can now look to the future with pride with a higher capacity machine being developed in 2019. The next phase will be the realization of an industrial plant with a capacity around 25,000 tons per year. This capacity can provide the, the solution for the collection of an area with 2.5 million people.